All right, to start off, I just wanted to show you everything you get. You get the unit itself, a USB extension cable that plugs in the front right there so you can plug in USB devices. On the back, you have another USB, some auxiliary, some ports where you can connect the rear view camera, antenna, iPod for older generation iPod and iPhone with the included cable there. Wiring harness will plug in there that you can wire it with. You get some brackets, faceplate to cover gaps, the backup camera, and hardware to get that mounted and connected. Warranty, user manual, certifications, and remote. Okay, for installation, I was able to just take the mounting brackets off my factory unit and install them on the side here. If, if your factory unit or the unit you're replacing doesn't have these, you might need to buy a dash kit for your car. And then I also recommend buying a harness, a wiring harness that fits your model car. So my car has two 8-pin connectors and then a 20-pin connector there. And so what this does is it has the two 8-pins and the 20-pins and you just match it up color for color with the included harness that plugs into the back of the stereo. So you, you can either get the crimpers or I just used, twisted them together and used electrical tape. And then you'll plug your factory wires into here and this end into the stereo. And this way you don't have to cut any wires in your car. So if you need to replace put the old unit back in, you can do that without any trouble. And then on the back here, this is where you'll plug in like your antenna will go here, the backup camera will go here. And I haven't connected the backup camera yet, but when you do, you'll plug the yellow end into here and there's a red wire that comes off of it. So there's the yellow end you'll plug in and then this red wire you'll connect it to the brown cable right there. That's the reverse cable. Um, installation, after I got the wiring harness, installation was pretty easy. Just look up how to remove your old unit. Mine was a little bit more complicated than normal. Or if you want, you can just get this professionally installed. But it was it was pretty easy to install after you get the right adapters and everything that you need. Okay, and here's the stereo all set up. You can hit the Navi button to browse your selections. Calendar, Bluetooth, DVR, Oxygen, iPod, camera, radio, disc, SD card, USB, TV, it says navigation there, but this unit doesn't have navigation. Um, there's the radio. You can also use the mode button to change the input. Then you have your volume down, volume up. And then this button, the down up, it will tilt the unit at various angles and then if you hold the button again it'll go up you have to hold the button for it to go up okay here's where your SD card will go right there let me get this all the way back up up up
Okay, and then let me show you the DVD functionality. Just go ahead and open it. And I have a DVD here. It's actually a pretty good picture. You can tap the screen for controls, hit the arrow button there to show more, go to the title screen. Oh, sorry, not allowed there. There we go. Menu. So that works really well. And then let me show you the... Uh, Bluetooth here. To connect your phone, you'll want to put your phone in pairing mode, and then you'll press this icon down there, and it'll search for your phone. And then play Bluetooth music. You can press that button there. You get your on screen controls. You have your contacts, so or you can dial a call there. The microphone is actually built into the unit right there. And this is the IR sensor for the remote control. Here's a USB input. You have your equalizer settings. You can mute the screen and then just tap it to turn back on. You have some settings here if you go to the main menu. Different functionality, change the language. Um, you'll probably want to change the radio region. When I first set mine up, I think it was set for Europe. So I just had to change that to USA. The touch screen works well. The DVD playback is nice, the image quality is nice, the backup camera is nice, um, yeah. My only complaint would be, in my car, the included uh, adapters, or sorry, the, the faceplate cover, let's see if I can show you this. The little face plate, plate cover there. It made the unit too big on the top and bottom and not big enough on the side. So I just had to put a little piece of electrical tape there. But if I remove that, there's a gap. I'm sure I can fix that if I bought an aftermarket car kit. And also my factory antenna it was weird. I actually have my original unit here my antenna required a little adapter so I had to buy an adapter to fit it in but other than that everything works great on it I really like it